Terrence Crawford always saying that people hate on him. People never give him no credit. And in my opinion, bro, he said some outrageous stuff when it comes to Errol, the truth, Spence Jr. Going on to basically say that Errol Spence Jr. is a great fighter, but he's not a Hall of Famer. He's not a Hall of Fame fighter. Um, if they were ret to retire today, that Terrence Crawford, no doubt, has his ticket to the Hall of Fame. And Errol the Truth Spence Jr. is just not uh, cut out for the Hall of Fame, bro. He will not make it to the Hall of Fame. And let me say something. Terrence Crawford, bro. Outrageous, bro. Out. Outrageous, bro. Let me let me let me start like this, bro. You say a lot of people hate on you and, and, and they don't give you a shot. And let me say this, bro. I think Terrence Crawford pound for pound is the best fighter in the world, bro. Especially how he beat Errol Spence. But you know, if we want to talk about a Hall of Fame, I don't give a damn what anybody says, bro. You could have all the excuses you want, and whether it's Terrence's fault or not, bro, Errol Spence has a way better resume still. It doesn't matter how bad Terrence Crawford beat him. At the end of the day. This dude has fought better opposition than Terrence Crawford. It don't it don't matter, bro. I really don't care, and I don't want to hear it, bro. Terrence Crawford, again, I'm saying for all these Terrence Crawford fanatics and fanboys. I'm a, I'm a fan of the sport first, but th it's just outrageous, bro. At the end of the day, Errol Spence's resume is still better than Terrence Crawford's resume, bro. You know, this man went on to beat guys like Porter, Brooke, Mikey Garcia, I don't care. A lot of people want to hate and not give him credit for it. It don't matter. Um, beat um, Lamont Peterson, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, I, I, like I said. He was he was the former unified champion in the welterweight division, bro. From 2017 to 2023. And this man's career is not even over, bro. He's not even over. What's Errol Spence, like 32 years old, bro? This dude's career is not even over. He still has fights left in his career and i would I, 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 and i would like to say bro if he did retire today bro and i'm not gonna throw no shade at anyone in the hall of fame but if he did retire today bro he would have my vote to be in the hall of fame bro just because he took one loss to bud bro and it don't matter it was a lopsided beating oh well it wasn't his night bud was just better to go on and say that he's a great fighter doesn't mean he's a hall of famer but i'm a hall of famer if we were to retire today i mean bro he has a better resume than you bro it's the same thing as saying, like, they want to discredit his wins against Mikey, and they, they want to say that Kelbrook was washed, he got he got whooped by Triple G and went back down and blah, blah. You know, it's like the same thing as people saying when Terrence Crawford, uh, you know, on his path to Undisputed at 140 was the easiest path ever. Now, I'm not going to go go and hate on that. I'm just saying what people are saying, bro. Meaning like Bud, bro, you, you kind of sound like a hater, bro. Because I think definitely Bud is a Hall of Famer. And I think Errol Spence is a Hall of Famer, bro. And I think Errol Spence is a Hall of Famer. And he still has big fights left in him, I feel, bro. How can you turn around and say that about this man? Because he took one loss. But at the end of the day, it don't matter. He still has a better resume than Terrence Crawford. And that's not Terrence Crawford's fault. He was signed to the wrong... To the wrong team, bro. I'm going to leave it at that, bro. It was hard for him to get these dudes on the other side in the ring with him, bro. And we all know boxing politics. But the bottom line is, bro, Errol Spence fought better opposition than Bud, bro. He, he just did, bro. He just did. So, you know, um, I don't think it was honestly a good look for Bud to even say that. If he even feels that uh, deep inside his heart, bro, he should have probably kept that to himself. You know, I feel like it was an out-of-pocket thing to say because Errol Spence, to me, bro, like I said, he has my vote to be in the Hall of Fame. He's a beast. Errol Spence is still a beast. He took one loss. So what? So what? So what? You know, not everybody's meant to go undefeated. You know, not everybody's meant to retire with an O. So, you know, just certain things, man, like uh, Terrence Crawford, I feel like that was, that was throwing a shot at Errol Spence. It was out of pocket. I, I really feel like you should have probably kept that to yourself, even if you really do feel that way, bro. And it kind of sounds like you're a hater, bro. You say that everyone hates on you. You saying something like that really sounds like you're a hater, bro, that you're hating on this man, bro. That's what it sounds like to me, honestly. And, 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 and again, man, I don't even want to dive into the resumes and the dirty politics that you've been playing for the rematch now, it's not to say that you won't beat this man at 154 pounds. I'm not saying that. 
I'm not saying Errol Spence is better than Bud. I'm not saying none of that. But you promised. You gave your word. There's videos out there. You could YouTube it, Google it. That you have no problem rematching this man at 154 pounds, but you're playing politics with him. That you would only rematch him at 47, and then you go and make an outrageous statement like this. And I'm not hating on Bud, bro. Like I said, I think Bud, pound for pound, is the best fighter in the world, man. I think he's the best. But him, um, you know, falling back on his word, I kind of don't like that. You gave your word like a man. It doesn't matter. It's not in the contract. Damn the contract. You gave your word like a man. Our, our word is gold. You said you will fight this man at 54. You have no problem fighting him at 54. You said that neither of you are comfortable making 47. Now you're playing politics with the whole, you know, the, the, the contract says 47. What happened to being a man of your word, bro? And now you're making statements like you feel like Spence is a great fighter but not a Hall of Famer. So what makes you a Hall of Famer? Because if we just go off a resume and people that you both fought, he's fought better opposition, man. And I'm again, I'm saying it's not Terrence Crawford's fault. But I feel like that statement was a little out of line, honestly, in my opinion. If you really do feel that way, you should have just kept that part to yourself. Because that really just looks like you threw a shot at this man. That's all that looks like to me. And like I said, this dude is 32 years old. Who knows who he'll fight next, you know? Who knows what kind of big wins are still in the future for him. But it don't even matter. Like I said, I feel even if he retires today, there's dudes. I'm not going to mention names. But even if he retires today, he has my vote to be in the Hall of Fame. Honestly, man. But this is my thoughts and my opinions, you know? Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think... Terrence Crawford was out of line for this statement. Do you think he should be a man of his word and rematch Spence at 54? Again, I'm not saying Spence is going to go ahead and beat him. Just to honor his word. Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you like the content. Thank you to everybody that subbed to the channel. If you're new and you're liking the content, please sub. We're trying to grow out here. Blessings to everybody. Once again, I feel like Bud was a little bit out of line with this statement. And it kind of sounds like he's he's being a petty hater, honestly, man. That's what it sounds like to me. There, I, I feel like there was no need for that comment. Errol Spence has my vote to be in the Hall of Fame. Peace and blessings. Catch you on the next video.